Hi ladies, how are you? Okay, so I thought um, I'll be doing a TTC update. I'm currently cycle day... Sorry, 19. <laughs> I should have checked that before I did the video. Cycle day 19 and I am 3 DPO. Um, I am 99% sure I am not pregnant as we only did the deed once and I think it was like two, three days before the positive OPK. And I, tw I ovulate 24 hours after the positive OPK. So I don't think I'm pregnant, but um, it's fine. I'm okay with it. Um, I really wanted to take a break. Not like a full break, but just like um, not pressuring my husband or anything like that to do the deed around ovulation or anything. Um, it's just if I am, I am. If I'm not, I'm not. Um, I'm also trying to see what my hormones are like when um, I haven't done the deed around ovulation as my OBGYN and even I think maybe I'm getting a fertilized egg but I just can't hold on to it. Um, I've had this migraine from ovulation onwards just before ovulation and onwards I've still got it it's been four or five days it's horrific pain that's why I'm not making much sense when I'm doing my vlogs at the moment it's like I'm I'm messing up my words and I'm mumbling and that it's just the pain from my migraine so I apologize um I went into the like I don't know what you call it over in America it's a health food shop a naturopath shop it just sells all natural health foods that's all stuff desperate for some kind of like migraine relief and I went in there and I didn't know at the time I was talking to her she's been a naturopath for like 20 something years and her expertise is fertility and I, t I didn't even explain that I was trying to conceive I just said I need some help with my migraines due to my hormone imbalance and my um, my cycles being irregular but since being on Vitex they're kind of balancing themselves out. She not only loves Vitex as well and was going to recommend Vitex but she's also recommended me evening primrose oil capsules. I've got super strength ones, high strength ones and she wanted me to take two a day for two weeks and then one a day um, thereafter. Um, obviously I can't take them yet because it's not recommended to take evening primrose, evening primrose oil if you are pregnant because it can um, cause contractions and stuff and so you don't want to take it from well they don't like I've read you don't want to take it from ovulation onwards just in case you might be in early stages of pregnancy so I'll wait till AF arrives and then I'll start taking them and she said that could even help with the ease of the migraines. I really hope so, as they are just becoming really debilitating. Um, it's like I'm light sensitive, I'm noise sensitive, and we're in summer right now, and you can always see like my blind isn't even fully open, and it's bright. It is so bright here. Um, it's very hot today, and the sun's out, and it's just very bright, and it's painful even to just look direction towards the window because at the camera because I'm in so much pain with the migraine now. And noise, well I can't do much about noise because I, I live in the suburbs. This neighbour here has a water pump that's like, constantly running. The neighbour on that side blasts music all the time. And I'm a mum with children so that they're noisy in general. So with day to day life I can't change things but the migraine, I need help, like if natural remedies, anything I need help with. Um, she also suggested to do, to help with my fertility, she asked me like, like after I described my cycles, she said, this is going to sound crazy, but would you be cold to touch from the waist to your knee, and especially the outer thighs? And I said, yeah, I've always had that, I just thought it was a bad circulation problem. Or because I'm overweight and she said no she said it sounds crazy but if you stand up and put your arms straight and the palms facing in and touching your thighs and if where your hands stop and that's the coldest part of the area that's the 
window to fertility. It sounds crazy. She even said it sounds crazy. Um, but she said you need to get heat into that area. She said as natural heat, not like electric blankets or anything like that. She said like use like the wheat heat packs or if you can get like big river pond stones and heat them up and have them on your outer thighs, you've got to heat that area. And like hot oil massages or warmed up lotion and just massage that area and get heat into that area. Um, she said it sounds crazy, which it does. And um, But I'm willing to try anything. It's natural. It's not going to hurt. So I'm going to try it. And she's had success with women who's been TTCing for many years and they've come to her and within six months they fall pregnant. So I will try anything. It's natural. It's not going to hurt. It doesn't cost anything. I've already got the heat, wheat heat bags. I've been, yesterday I did I think four times. And it's relaxing at the same time. Like you can't walk around with heat bags on your thighs. So I'm laying down. I've got my heat packs on my thighs. I'm reading or looking at gloss magazines and I'm just taking 10 minutes to myself, which I don't get. So I do it when my little ones are napping or at night time or just any time that I can squeeze in a few 10 minutes just to get some heat on that area. And at night time, my hubby massages my outer thighs for me, which is nice. So I'll try it. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. So. Uh, my supplements now are Vitex, which I take throughout my whole cycle, um, three capsules a day. The Black Moles one is in my TTC Loves log, um, if you haven't seen it. And even Primrose Oil, which I'll be taking once my AF arrives. And the heat therapy massages and heat packs. So I'll be trying that for the next few cycles. As we know, I'm in my 12th cycle of TTCing. Um, I did give myself six months, which I think goes t to 18 months, so roughly 19 cycles because I had one month, I had two cycles in one month, so that's why it's, if you go by months, I started December 19th, 2010 was when I started TTC, so we're in November, but I'm on my 12th cycle because one month I had two cycles, that's why it's a bit like that. Um, so I'm at my 12th cycle. Nearly a year, I'll give myself, month-wise nearly a year, I'll give myself, I said I'll give myself 18 months, and then I think I would just let it go and be happy with what I've got, which I am. I do love my children, obviously, and I'm very blessed. Um, yes, so 12th cycle, I don't think I'm pregnant at all. I will test, obviously, because I'm a pee and honest dick. Um, but I'm not going to be upset if I'm not because I'm not expecting it obviously because we didn't really try this cycle um, but I'll be in full swing next cycle um, so I'll let you all know how I go I just did my TTC giveaway vlog it's my first giveaway vlog so please excuse any like ums or ahs or ner I was nervous as well so I'm still not used to talking to a camera so I do apologize um, I'm a very shy person in real life so it's huge <laughs> okay so I think that's about it um, once again thank you all for the support it means a lot to me and I will update you all again soon bye